Hello and welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Monday, January the 3rd. Today we are reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 1 through 12. Here's the word of the Lord. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eyes and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there's a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eyes. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw, per throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, would give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, would give him a snake? If you, then though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is written by Loda Ruiz, and Loda is a professor at Point Loma Nazarene University in Pasadena, California. And the title of her article is, Who is Judging? Here's what Loda reads, or writes. When you learn about the law, immediately you want to apply it. The twist is that we like to apply it to others. We often fight for the judge's seat. It is so much easier to judge others' actions than to judge our own actions, decisions, and choices. When I walk around my block each morning to meditate and talk with the Lord, my mind is full of what others need to be doing or what they haven't been doing. Most of the time, it is full of complaints about others. It takes me a few, a few blocks to see that I easily fail like others. Instead, I need to look at myself and see that I am a hypocrite. I am criticizing and complaining about others. So what? Does that make me the victim, the hard worker, the hero, perfection in two feet? When we point to others, we hide what's inside us, and we try to escape from the law. I need br to bring myself to the altar and let the Lord see in the deepest parts of my soul what needs to be seen. I need to pay attention to the plank and be healed. The hymn today is, Is Your All on the Altar by Alicia A. Hoffman. Is Your All on the Altar of sacrifice laid your heart does the spirit control you can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield to him your body and soul and from luke chapter 6 verses 37 we read this do not judge and you will not be judged do not condemn and you will not be condemned forgive and you will be forgiven. And this is your daily devotion for Monday, January the 3rd. Have a blessed day.